This men's health magazine. Ah! People are losing their minds over Jonathan's body of work. Look at, woo! Woo! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh, ooh! After obtaining a bachelor's degree at the University of California School of the Arts, Jonathan attended Yale for graduate school. Even though he graduated from the program, he is disappointed that it didn't teach him all the information he needed to learn to be an influential actor. Single mother here, okay? okay. I'm hustling over here, trying to feed my child food okay. in her mouth. And then you go and do this. Disservice yeah. to all of us. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to focus here. <laughs> Can you please explain your actions? Like, what is happening with this thirst trap? Many actors tell stories of falling in love with acting before they were old enough to understand what it was. Jonathan's tale is different. Jonathan did not develop an interest in acting until he was 14 years old. However, once he had gotten into it, he was hooked. Jonathan, love you as a clown, um, but a workout video of yours recently dropped, and I also liked that a lot. <laughs> um, you're pretty ripped. Do you know what was required to keep Jonathan Major's physique in top shape for Creed 3? Here's what he has to say about his exercise routines. I'm six feet tall, I'm 202 pounds, Major said. To sustain that and grow, you have to eat as much protein as you can weigh. I ate 6,100 calories a day for about four months. Do you know what? I was so excited to see you that I couldn't really sleep anyway. Oh, that's sweet. That's Seeing you sweet. twice in 24 hours, how lucky am I? Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'm very lucky. Yes, right. Listen, people are chanting your name. Everyone is so excited. Jonathan also claims to have mainly eaten rice and chicken six times a day during his preparation. To prepare for the role, Majors trained for a year and a half. Jonathan Majors' ebony shoot has me in a chokehold coughing tizzy, in a delirious state of mind. Why is so damn sexy? I just want to caress one arm, not both. Uh, I don't want to be greedy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Jonathan's teens weren't easy sailing. In those days, he was victimized and had many fights. It's true that discovering his passion for acting is what saved him. Without it, his life would have been entirely different. And your body look like this, and you owe <laughs> men's help. Do y'all see this? What is your secret? I hold the line. Y'all gonna look at this on this day. As a child, Jonathan grew up with his siblings on the Vandenberg military base close to Lompoc, California, as his father served in the Air Force. But his mother relocated him and his family to Dallas after his father had left the family. Our great father seemed to disappear in the middle of the night, and he returned 17 years later, Jonathan explained to The Hollywood Reporter in November 2019. Okay. okay. Always good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. You're looking handsome. Trouble. Oh, okay. <laughs> More layers of clothing, huh? More layers. Cover it up. Oh, you got to. You got to keep us warm, too. Okay. Jonathan reunited with his father in 2020 following the Black Lives Matter protests. In Dallas, Jonathan's mom earned a master's degree in divinity and eventually became a pastor. Spirituality has become a major part of Jonathan's daily life through his mom. Even though he's not yet contemplating becoming a pastor himself, the lessons his mother taught him have stayed with him. That type of service and work ethic and scholarship is something I adopted and made my own, Jonathan stated to Elle in August 2020 in reference to his mother's perseverance. I'm no pastor. I'm not an unclean person. However, I do have my own purpose. Yeah, it is definitely here we go, because I think we have the image here. Why, why are you doing this to us? <laughs> I'm doing this for us. You realize that you realize there are normal men out there. We're living our lives eating bread. Yeah. And then yeah. and then you do. What is your after graduation from UNCSA and before going to Yale School of Drama? Jonathan was blessed with a daughter, currently seven years old. In his interview in June 2020 on People, Jonathan said that his top priority was to provide his daughter an adequate education about black history. 
She has to understand that it's actually not black history, it's American history, Jonathan said. The method of teaching it now is essentially an attempt to teach the Jim Crow system of separate but equal. We'll give it a month, 12 pages of the Book of History. We'll discuss Harriet Tubman, Rosa Parks, MLK. Then we'll offer a short assessment of it. That's all there is to it. Adam, cheeky question. Are we going to see you on social media anytime soon? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> and, and for the record, I do not have, a, what, what do you call these fake accounts? A burner. I don't have a burner account. I don't. Should, should I speak into this camera? I don't have a burner account. I, I actually don't care. Like, it doesn't. No, I don't. It's not real. I don't have one. Not not a burner account. I don't have a burner account. I don't have one. That's fine. No. Majors has become a significant component of the MCU's upcoming future since he's acting as the main antagonist in Phase Five, along with a Phase Six Kang the Conqueror. In contrast, Major said he was eager to walk away from his first encounter with Marvel. When interviewing with the magazine Vanity Fair, Major said that just after graduating at Yale in 2016, he was invited to an all-encompassing interview with Marvel. So I got in there and they're just busy, Majors explained. And I was like, I'm supposed to be here, right? It got long and I went, I'm just gonna go. It's cool, I'll just go. And I got to the door, but then they said casting director Sarah Finn would come. Do you open your arms to the fact that you have become the internet's boyfriend? Well, as long as we have a great relationship, as long as we stay committed to each other, you know? He's Kang the Conqueror, but he can conquer me <laughs> instead. Oh my God, my mom is going to watch this. Jonathan Majors can rip me in half, and I thank you. Okay, I don't care. I'm Team Kang. Uh, that's me. He can light those Avengers asses the F up. I know I can put that together. I'm just so grateful to be alive at the same time as Jonathan Majors. Let the church say amen. Hey. Man. Oh, wow. Welcome to the kingdom. Jonathan Majors has his own distinctive item, a tiny ceramic cup that he takes along with him almost everywhere that he travels. He spoke about it in the cover story for CQ in 2020 and listed this as one of the top 10 most important items. It just became a thing for me, always to have my own vessel to move through the world with, the actor told CQ. During his Vanity Fair interview, he provided additional information about the cup, stating that his mother had advised the actor to never let anybody fill your cup. No one can fill your cup for you. He also pointed out that there's always water inside his cup and never alcohol. And I just find it neat, and it's kind of a, a comfort thing, you know? Okay, let's see. I had matcha tea this morning, and then I didn't actually, but let's just go with it, right? She wants to be your wing woman. <laughs> I'm Jonathan Majors and I'm hosting SNL this week with musical guest Taylor Swift. Nailed it! Yes! Oh. Oh. Yes! 